Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Voyager PWM filter here on our 2020 Taxa Manus travel trailer. As newer GM and Chevy truck owners know all too well, there's an issue with Furion camera systems where your truck isn't providing a steady power to your camera system, which in turn leaves you without a camera for backing up or just for general purpose use. So to mitigate that issue, Voyager came out with a filter that's going to provide a steady current so that your camera is always ready to go and can easily sync up to your monitor. I'll give you a little example right now. I'm going to try and pair our monitor up to our rear camera. So with our camera already in pairing mode out back, I'm going to go ahead and hit pairing on our monitor. Now it's going to try searching for it. So as you can see with our monitor, we weren't able to sync up to our camera. So what we can do to solve this issue is install the Voyager PWM filter. This installation process is super simple. The filter already comes with two butt connectors on it. The only thing you might need extra is like with this system, it had three wires instead of just two, like I've done on a previous trailer. So you may have to just get some additional wire and two butt connectors and then some electrical tape just to kind of seal up the whole deal. Other than that, super simple. So to begin our installation, we're gonna remove our camera do that, I'm gonna pop off the cover here. And then I'm gonna start unscrewing our camera base. Make sure to be careful, these screws are very, very tiny. You don't wanna lose these. our wiring. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut back our wiring here. Make sure I leave myself enough room because we're going to need to get inside of our camera here to hook up our filter. So right now I'm just stripping back the casing so that we can get to our actual wires. And then we can go ahead and strip back this casing as well. And be careful just because these are really, really tiny. Now we're going to do the same thing to the camera side. So since we have touch a, such a tight squeeze right here with this hole, I'm actually going to back my wire out through it. Because I'm not going to be able to get our filter through this once it's completed. So I'm going to have that down here. On your filter, there's going to be two ends, each with their own wire and butt connector already on it. One is going to say to the camera, it's got this little strip over it, and then one is going to be running up from our trailer. So I'm going to want to hook these ends to my trailer end, and these ends here with this little white wrapper saying uh, PWM to camera up to our actual camera itself. And also, just because this is a three-wire system instead of just your standard two-wire, I also cut a little strip of wire and I'm going to go ahead and butt that up. I cut it about the same length as what our wires are on here so that it kind of matches the same exactly even with the butt connectors on and then we're going to tape this up and make sure it's waterproof. So with our strip back wire I'm going to go ahead and fold it over, thicken it up just a little bit. Twist it up some more and it's going to match up color wise red with red, black with black that in to our butt connector. We can go ahead and crimp it down. Just need to be careful that we don't catch our other wires just because we have such a tight space here. All right, and then with our brown, like I said, I have another wire. And I just had laying around. We're gonna go ahead and Put a butt connector on that real quick. And then we will put it onto our brown wire. All right, now that we have that all together, I'm actually gonna go ahead and come back and I'm gonna heat shrink this real quick. And then we can start making our connections to the other end on our camera. 
All right, now we can go ahead and do the same thing on our camera end. Like I said before, red to red, black to black. And then our brown to our brown. And with that in place, we can go ahead and heat shrink down our butt connector. Now that we have it back in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take some electrical tape, just wrap this all up, make sure it's nice and waterproof. Don't wanna take any chance at water ruining our camera. With our wiring in place, I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting our camera back onto our camper. And we can slide in our monitor, our actual camera, not our monitor. Now we can pop on our cover, get the camera kind of back where we need it. And now we can go test it out. All right, now we're in the cab of the truck. Let's go ahead and we'll flip on our power. And as you can see, our rear is now working. I'm gonna go out there real quick just so you can see me on the camera as well. And as you can see, you can see me now. So that solves our issue here with our pulse width modulation coming from our newer GM and Chevy trucks. So I think that about does it for today's installation of the PWM filter from Voyager here in our 2020 Tax Amantis travel trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.